I and the Japanese boy Ryochi Kuroki, who was my student, uh, went to Chennai to the embassy to extend his visa to stay in India. And out of finishing the work, we were we took the bus. We were coming back to Bangalore. There was a fight between a lorry driver and our bus driver. And they were using a lot of bad languages in Tamil. And that finished. After the bus went around outskirts of the Chennai city and going deep into a village, we saw a crowd blocking the bus. And this lorry driver has gone to his village, brought in people, they blocked the bus. And this, this bus driver was not the young boy, he was a little elderly man, but he has got a lot of guts. They dragged him down from the bus and they started beating and he was not a person to stand and take the beatings. He was also using bad languages and hitting them back. But then it is he alone and the bus is full of women and children and we, I thought if the driver has been beaten and is unconscious, will they attack the bus? So I jumped out of the bus. I ran near to the bus driver and for the first time I understood, oh, the amount of push-ups and back punches about a throne, it worked out. The moment people were attacking the man, the driver from left, right, front, back, those who come very near to me, I just give boom, one punch and I good. See, they never came back. They ran. They ran back. Oh. And this continued for some time and then I moved towards the bus and of course another round of fight. I was always making sure that I never use my legs so that the people might do oh, karate wala, karate wala and then the, the whole system would have changed it. I was waiting when they come very close to me, boom, one. If, if you can do very heavy exercise and if you can go that deeper when circumstances come, you are so relaxed, you can pack one. <laughs> It's so powerful and that softness is the richness of your power, of your money. The first few days of your heart labor, you can go deeper. John Pierpont Morgan, born in 17 April 1837 in Connecticut in the United States of America, died on 31st March 1913 in Rome in Italy, was an American financier, an investment banker who dominated corporate finance on Wall Street throughout the Gilded Age. As the head of the banking firm that ultimately became known as J.P. Morgan and Company, he was the driving force behind the wave of industrial consolidation in the United States spanning the late 19th and the early 20th century. John Pierpont Morgan said, go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see still further. What a beautiful feeling. It's truth. And you go, you go deeper. And that's what exactly happened in my Devanahalli uh, ashram. During the winter time, the mist was so heavy. We can't even see from here. We can't see the road. But when you walk closer, there was no mystery. We could see everything. Go a little over, but people from far away, they think they cannot see anything. Far away, far away, you think it is difficult, but when you go very close, it is opening up and the road is open. Yes. Go as far as you can see. That is the beauty. That is one mistake every man did it. When they were presented, with a beautiful wife in a beautiful plate and the wife has been brought up by the father and mother and the relatives with a lot of love and affection and discipline in Sanskrit and invested a huge amount of that beauty, not one beauty, you must understand. There is a huge amount of latest beauty right inside. When people come to Rockham School, they say, oh, there is a lot of electrifying power, magnetic power. And the same they could feel when they go to some temples because they're just entering the temple. They could feel there is a magnetic power. And I said, it's because my children always jumping, dancing, moving, people coming and going. They have invested a huge amount of their looks and 
smiles and the beautiful yes positive thoughts that is like a magnetic power that every man forgot that was in that girl child when every family when they got a man for her they all came to dress her up and they were full of joy to make sure that she is properly placed into the man and the monkey man forgot to look her go as far as you can see he forgot to look deep into the eyes he wanted to lift that they say cover the face and fire the base what bloody nonsense the fire fire and then it's become like a war they don't even open to see the duty yesterday when his son came over here and when we presented him with a box when when his uh, wife took that uh, box they never opened when his mother in law took that box they never opened but at the moment we gave to the child he was in a hurry he was only 2 and a half years old he was in a hurry to tear open to see what was inside and you can see the joy when he saw what was inside yes <laughs> go as far as you can see man you look into your women into your wife and then when you get there you will be able to see further and further and then there is an explosion which no hospitals no medicine can give you that magnifying feeling but you have to be conscious don't carry the borrowed knowledge once you have been a successful to understand that was the beauty which has been taken care for around 20 years 25 years to hand it over to you it is a real investment fixed deposit investment and every part you open you can see only diamond if you believe then you are successful in your business then if you can believe that that is a diamond that you when you get there you will be able to see still further and further and further and the truth opens that's the first time you find love can move mountains and oceans wow that feeling of your seeing is opening a huge amount of new paths to a poetry to a literary beauty to a truth and it is very close to that philosophy of God, John Pierpont Morgan said, "Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see further. And once you understand that, you can make sure that you are, don't have to take a special certificate from the subregister office to call yourself as a husband. God has showered you with this beautiful name." husband a godly husband a godly man and you can see everything in your business is godly because you can see every member employee when he walks into your place is gold covered yes it is diamond from every one breath of theirs is diamond when they walk into your factory it is god walking into your factory such is the beauty yes when the employees went for a strike they were sitting outside and screaming at the company owner and suddenly they could hear a strange voice also shouting against the company owner they turned back to look they found company owner itself sitting and screaming at the company owner shut the company you have not taken care and everybody turned and said please we were sorry but he couldn't say anything that day evening he went back home he wrote the company and all the employees name and committed suicide yes it's not a word of the suicide he forgot he felt that he forgot to look into the beauty of the diamond of all these people yes john pier paul morgan must have seen that to make the company that beautiful from one seed you can see 70000 no seed from one seed you can see a beautiful tree one stem leads to 10000 look into the that one beauty and then you can call yes your family is strong from that family brings in a family joint family to family to john pier paul morgan go as far as you can see when you get there you will be able to see further